So we exported our texture out of Quixel. And remember, we had all those. We had the normal, we had a height map, we had that MH, MA, MOS, <laughs> that MOS texture. We need to fix something in that MOS texture, and we need to do that inside of Photoshop. Now, what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to do it in Photoshop, which is my editor of choice. You should be able to do this in GAMP or pretty much any photo editing software. You might just have to do a Google search on how to open up the alpha channel and how to do an invert. Based on what you watch here, you could probably come up with some Google terms and figure it out. GIMP should be very similar, but let's, uh, let's jump in. So let me open up Explorer here and let me go. So this is the directory. <clears throat> let me show you actually here inside of Unity. Um, so in Unity, remember we exported these out into our project and where I exported was this forest floor. And if I double click on that, what I'm looking for is this moss texture right here, okay? If I right click on it, I can do show and explore, and then explorer is gonna pop up and you can see here it is, this PNG. I can right click on it, I'm gonna do open with Photoshop. And at this point, Photoshop's gonna open this guy. And if we go down here, we got 3D, we got layers, uh, okay. Uh, we got layers and we got channels. Go away, go away. And now under the channels, you see we have our R, G, our red, green, blue channels. There's no alpha here because Photoshop didn't open it up. So what we have to do is we have to open this. So we're gonna go up here to layer, layer mask from transparency and you can see now that we have a new we don't have to relabel this but this is our alpha channel and we can actually turn our rbg off turn this on and you can see what that alpha channel looks like this is our roughness okay um map it's part of this and so here it is but what we need to do is we need to invert this so we need to come back up here and we're going to do select all so now our entire layer is selected and we can make changes to it. And let's go up here to uh, image adjustments and invert. And you're gonna see what happens here. Boom, essentially took all the whites, turn them black and all the blacks and turn them white. But that's what we need inside of this channel, inside of Unity, inside of the Moss shader to use this correctly. And I'm gonna turn these other ones back on so now here is our moss and I can do, I don't have to do this deselect, but you can see what this looks like now. There's the original, but there's with the mask. Now we need to replace the one in our Unity project. So we're gonna come here to file, export, export as. Make sure up here at the top, this is gonna take a second to load. PNG is uh, picked up here. Make sure you've got transparency. This should pick the existing resolution, which you exported out of Quixel. We've got our 2048 by 2048. We're going to hit export. And then we're going to browse back to our uh, Unity folder. So here's our Unity project folder. So there are that. We've got to go to assets, down here to resources. And then once we're in resources, OPCD MOS resources, extra materials. We're working with Forest Floor 2. And it was this MOS ping right here, PNG. We're going to save it and we're going to overwrite it. That's going to take a second. Why this is saving, don't go back into Unity right away. Kind of wait for it to be done. Now we're going to go into Unity. It's going to refresh. And there it is. So there's the updated version of our MAHS with the alpha um, inverted. That's it. On to the next video.